fruit. <laughs> Suck. Thumb sucking causes an overbite. Just ask my Uncle Beaver face. I'm Frank's nephew. I live in the van in the driveway. We're going to play a wonderful game called Dad Fights. Welcome to Dad Fights. Ever wonder what would happen if you put two TV dads in the ring? Find out with your hosts, Adam and Jeremy. Who's ready for some fatherly advice? Or a heavy blow to the skull? Death. Death. Alright everyone, and welcome to this uh, extra special bonus episode of Dad Fights. Uh, I want to take everyone back. Um, cue it up, Adam. The <laughs> We're going back to the, I can't believe I'm going to say this, this is like sounds like a long time ago, the early 2000s, and uh, me and this guy, working at a sub shop at night, listening to classic rock, having a good time, went into the time chamber, you know, what, three, four times by then? And, uh, we, yeah, and we already had our free sandwiches for the night, like I usually had the Italian with bacon, and Adam got crazy and would make seafood with roast beef, but you liked it, it's good. Hey, some type of bacon, you gotta put bacon in that, oh, that yeah. fake seafood, yeah. And it was always like the bacon bit bacon. It was so good. But uh, yeah. but we were making these sandwiches for, for cool people. And, uh, you know, one gentleman comes in later in the evening, cool, like regular, I guess we would say, and uh, we're listening to Sticks on the radio. And this guy looks at us and goes, hey, man, I wonder what the guy from Sticks is doing right now. And Adam and I are <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I wonder what the guy from Sticks is doing right now. And I think I don't. I can't remember. I think we said he's sleeping or something. <laughs> I don't. I can't remember what we really said. But uh, then that same evening, we uh, go to our good buddy Shane's house, sit in the backyard. We're talking about that guy and how we're just thinks it's funny. I just think some random guy what he's doing right now. And so for it's some been, reason it's that been funnier if he's like, "Come sail away, come sail away," <laughs> and then walks out. No, he's got too much time on his hands. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Dr. But uh, M- Mr. Adam that evening asked me a very important question, which what it all led to. Uh, we would get in a fight. You originally said Eddie and Waldo, right? Was that the original yeah. one? Yeah. It was Eddie and Waldo, and then for some reason we had to go. No, no, it has to be a different guy from a different show, so it'd be like the same character. And then you came up with uh, who was it, Mr. Man? Cody Lambert, the kickboxer. That's right, kickboxer yeah. man himself. Uh, so yeah, this episode is Waldo. Geraldo Faldo versus Cody Lambert. The this is where it all started. The Code Man. Bra. <laughs> so, got bra. so this is so. this is <laughs> this is the third week in a row that we're doing step by step. Should we just like turn this into a step by step podcast? I think so, man. All right. Can I have uh, Karen next week? Oh, you can definitely have her. All right. Go ahead. Speaking of Karen, I was doing my notes last night. And I was using uh, was it? wiki fan wiki for step by step and uh i don't know it's pretty pretty like uh pretty even keel you know not not completely sober but i I misread it it said cody lambert bonded with uh karen and mark but i read it as i read it as cody lambert boned karen and mark and i'm like the fuck and i laughed and screenshotted it and i meant to send it to you but it was really late and like, <laughs> like i read this as as boned and made me laugh really hard. I laughed so hard I cried. I make myself <laughs> laugh. That's what I do. That's a good one. But let's get into it, man. What are we going to call yeah, this, man, dude? Uh, I, I titled it as Where It All Started. I like it. Yeah, it's perfect. I was, I was like, who knew uh, years and years later we uh, went off that concept? But also, over time, Adam would and I would just do that. Th- we just started doing that with like different TV shows. I can't yeah. remember all of them. But, but then, uh, yeah, you go, hey, man, we should do that. we we'll do with Dad Fights. Yeah. Yeah. It's been great ever since, man. Good old time. I'm having a good time doing it. I yeah, like this it. Is, this, yeah, it's fun. Super fun. I get to I get to play imagination every week with my best putty. A putty. Yeah. Sorry. I'm slurring words here, dude. It's all right. Silly putty. It's Friday, dude. What the fuck? It's TGIF because we're doing two oh, TGIF yeah, dude, shows. Hey, holy shit, man. In April Fool's, we're still doing oh, it, yeah. so here we go. <laughs> I pity those fools. I pity those who fools. don't listen to dad fights. So uh I did I did a who's your who's your daddy and what does he do, but they're not dad, so who's your uh right. buddy and what does he do? Yeah. Who is your buddy? <laughs> My 
My what buddy. My buddy, buddy and me. And me. <laughs> I'll use that. I'll, I'll sample that, and then uh, that can be our bonus <laughs> episode thing for non-dads. Buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy and me. Mr. Waldo, Geraldo, Faldo. Uh, Eddie's best bud, man. And uh, he can break dance. His catchphrase is a uh, sup. And he's kind of a dumbass, but he's, you know, good at heart. And he wants to be a sh chef. No, not a chef. A chief. In the police. With Mr. Carl motherfucking Winslow. That's Waldo for you. What about your dude? All right, my buddy is uh, Cody Lambert. He is the nephew of Frank Lambert. And, uh, yeah, that's Die Master's husband. And, uh, yeah, he just, he comes to Wisconsin and lives with, uh, his, his uncle and his cousins. And he lives in a van outside parked in their driveway. And, uh, he helps out his uncle occasionally. Other than that, he just, like, reloads, babysits a little bit, teaches life lessons to little Mark, little Brennan, and Al, JT. Him and, uh, what's the oldest girl's name? Uh, uh, uh. My two, my two dads. <laughs> And uh, he doesn't uh, get along with my two dads. Yeah, what's her fucking Dana? Dana. Yeah, Dana. Yeah, they always have like they always butt heads. I think it's secretly because they you just need to fuck and get it over with. Yeah, because they weren't related. Yeah, so they, they could do it. <laughs> just like <laughs> it's okay. Just like when I read like he boned Karen and Mark, I'm like, well, I guess they're not blood related, so they're no harm, no foul, blood. right? Yeah. No one gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mark might get hurt a little, just a little bit. Why do some Sweet of that rage, mark. rage cry power? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my buddy, Cody Lambert. It's going to be a good fight, dude. And, you know, it's going to be a good, good one, man, yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah, they're um, evenly matched. Both goofballs. Oh, and Cody has a catchphrase. It's cheese on, dude. I don't know Wisconsin. what that means. It's like a it's philosophical Wisconsin. conundrum is what it is. Is Wisconsin, so stupid cheese. Oh, yeah, fuck Wisconsin. That's right. I thought it was like my catchphrase. Fuck on, bro. Like, what? <laughs> I meant to say one. fuck yeah and right on and came out. Fuck that was on, awesome. Bro. Fuck on was <laughs> the best, man. Yeah. <laughs> fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about fuck on, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck on. Yeah, I don't remember it was like, it was Casey or somebody that like straight yeah. called me out, like, what the fuck did you say? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she was in the uh, driver's side, and I was sitting. The, yeah. uh, she was in the passenger, and I was sitting in the back with a uh, her crazy friend, Carol. Uh, yeah, Car Carol. Kara? Carol Kara? Foster. Kara, yeah. maybe. I don't know. Hey, you want to talk about music? Album of the week. Album of the week. All right, well, this week I was listening to uh, Spotify has that weekly discovery for Discovery Weekly where they just throw 20 bands at you, like, check out this yeah. song by this band. And it's always, like, random shit, like, yeah. based on what I listen to. And this week uh, an album came up. The band's called Dream Weapon. No, the band's called Genghis Tron. The album's called Dream Weapon. And uh, so the band Genghis Tron, they're... They started in like the about 2003, 2005, like basically when we met. It started back then, and uh, I don't know. It's like um, electronic, electronic garage rock meets hardcore, but their newest album, uh, Dream Weapon, is more synth wave meets garage rock. I like huh. it. It's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, it's like video game music. Meets good driving music. Huh. That's a good combination. Yeah, and the uh, song from the album that I want to highlight is Ritual Circle. <laughs> and it's, it's just a chill, like, synthy rock song. But uh, their earlier albums kind of sounded like uh, more angsty, like Nine Inch Nails. Like when I heard okay. this band, I'm like, are they a 90s band? Like, and then I look, I'm like, this album's from 2021? What the fuck? But, yeah, I think you dig it. Cool. Yeah, I'll check it out. Um, I did the same thing with mine and uh, the Amazon shit I have. And it brought me to an old, old, oldie but goodie, man. Um, you've heard the band Death, right? 
Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. All right, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, this is an old one. I haven't listened to this one in a while, but the uh, my one of my personal favorites by uh, Death here, uh, The Sound of... Is it perse yeah perseverance? Nice. It's such a good. Oh, does like like okay. So after you left the sub shack, uh, of course I still worked there, and this um this native he uh, started working with us. He was a cool dude. Not I'm not talking about Buddy, but there's another. Oh, native yeah, I was gonna kid say, is it Buddy? Us. No, <laughs> no, no. It was this kid named uh, I think Greg was his name, and he always did the um he did um a lot of Family Guy voices. So he did Stewie right. pretty good, and he did the um. Uh, the gay like art teacher like oh no that guy yeah <laughs> dude he did like, yeah. all of them really good man <laughs> but anyway he was just a cool dude and uh, one day he's like dude, we we're talking about metal and shit because you know you know that's what you talk about when you're working at Sub Shack and he's like do you ever heard Death and I was like no man and this is like you know 2000 so there's already like a good album like you know shit ton of Death albums and he's like well dude I'll, I gotta hook you up with some of their their um, CDs I was like all right cool that's thanks man. So I was like, like two, three, four CDs. He got me a fucking stack, Adam, of like fifteen fucking different Death albums. I was like, holy shit! Yeah, dude, Death started in like '87, like yeah, whenever Cannibal yeah, Corpse started. 80s. They started around the same time. Yep. Same, same city, I think, somewhere in Florida. The the song I'm going with though is um, kind of you know left field from from their usual stuff. But I took pick the uh, pick the voice of the soul, which is a uh, instrumental, just like guitar track. Oh shit! Nice. It's a good one, man. But yeah, dude, death, man. It's it's good uh, Elden Ring music to play while you're, you know, either farming runes dude, or uh, that's fucking genius. Yeah, dude. Getting your ass I, kicked. Yeah. But yeah, man. Good old death. Yeah. Nice. Highly recommend. Yeah, it. good call, man. Yeah, death's good, man. Oh, the oh, see, yeah, okay. Good. Finally, it finally clicked with me because the singer always reminded me of someone, and then uh, now when I listen to him, I'm like, oh, he kind of sounds like the guy from Dissection. That's where, I, like, that's oh, you know, shit. black metal sound. I was like, oh yeah. shit, man, that's that's where I get the. Okay, that's where he sounds familiar. And the guitar player is just amazing. Hey, um, I do have a problem, though, Adam. I would like to oh, discuss yeah? it with you. Well, yeah, good um, thing. There's a doctor in the house, and he's got this itchy sweater, and he's he just pushing up he, something he, he, into he, a drink. Don't drink it. Or drink don't it. Don't do it. Oh, no. Or do it. It's know. up to you. Dealer's choice. Stir apps. Stir apps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you found... Right, so. <laughs> you found... What's the show called that you sent me? It's, uh... Picture something. Oh, picture, picture, picture friends. Picture, picture, picture frame. Yeah. Picture perfect. Hang on, let me look. Picture friends. I'm gonna say picture friends. Feel good about picture friends. Picture friends. Picture pages. Picture pages, and I finally got to figure out that pen that you kept talking about for the past <laughs> four months. I know. I'll sit outside. I'll sit outside. Uh. Uh, I was, yeah, I was just chilling outside also, and I was like, oh, I'm going to look that up for Adam, because I keep telling him yeah. I'm going to look it up for him. <laughs> and all I typed in was Bill Cosby pen. Boom, popped and up. And then the video came up. <laughs> uh, so perfect. I want that pen, as long as it makes that noise. So. Yeah, the crazy noises. Yeah. yeah. Now you know I'm not crazy. At least I know I'm not crazy now, so that's good. No, I'm not crazy. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Yeah, institution. Mr. Jeremy's Video Game ADD. All right, man. So this one, it's it's a double. Double games. All right. So uh, taking it way back to this one, uh, this is this game, the first one was made back in 1999 on the original PlayStation. But uh, have you ever played Apexcape? Yes. Not the so, original one. I played the new one with you, but not. The oh, you put yeah. You played the second one. Okay, that was that's the other game of the week is the second one. But uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot with Logan because, like, dude. I, and also, I was playing with him. I realized I've been I played that with all my niece and nephews as they were growing up too. Oh, that's awesome. Because it's a good yeah, game, I can totally dude. See like, Maxwell getting into that game for sure. Yeah, dude. Like it was, it's just a good fucking game because like, you know, it's not like super. It's not violent at all. Not really. I mean, you you bonk monkeys with a stun bat thing but that's okay <laughs> and you catch them yeah, i mean yeah you capture them i mean for science right yeah for science you know you're just trying to capture them all back so if people don't know ape escapes an old school playstation game and fucking it starts off with a doctor kind of mega man type gonna like make a time machine and like he had a, he had a smart monkey helping him and he gave the smart monkey like smart helmet and the monkey put it on he got super smart and then he started putting helmets on other monkeys and all the monkeys are like it's kind of like planet of the apes for kids 
That's <laughs> as I'm talking about it. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, yeah. <laughs> and you're one dude, and you're like, all right, man. And then your doctor's like, all right, dude, you get these cool gadgets. And this is back when they introduced the whole DualShock PlayStation, you know, the, with the control sticks. Yeah. It's like one of the first games, and like that's they made a big deal about the control sticks. Like, you're on the right control stick was, you know, whatever gadget you had, and you had to use it with the control stick, and then the other one you moved around. Yeah. But yeah, but Ape Escape 1 and 2. One, one's awesome because it's the original made by um, um, Sony Computer Entertainment America in Japan. But the other one's made in Europe, so it's it's weird. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> and plus, the uh, first one had badass drum and bass. And, it, and yeah. it also had a point where, like, if you, if you go up to the monkey and you, like, I think you push in one of the sticks, you lay down, so you're cr- trying to be quiet. But when you're quiet, they cut the beat down a little bit. Then when you get up, the beat, like, picks back up. That's cool. Yeah. So back when uh, I was working on the four-track days, Adam, I, I'd sample that shit when I got my sampler. I sampled some of the beats, and, like, doing that, I was like, you know, I would sneak and then come up when the beat would drop. So I would sample that shit, loop it, and fucking add effects and whatnot, and, like, I made these, like, badass crazy songs i made like a song about a fish vortex back when i was um at lake pleasant <laughs> i made fish another what, i made another song about like i made another song about uh being john malkovich going in your own portal taking right. samples from that and shit yeah, it's back when i first got my sampler i just went sample crazy platformer monkey grabbing hell yeah speaking of monkey grabbing um <laughs> i uh <laughs> <laughs> I decided to 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 not uh, watch any adult entertainment for a little bit. I made it about nine days, and then I'm like, yeah, I'll just go back. I have a new rule now that uh, I'm not gonna watch anything shot after 1998. I think uh, anything before 1998 is is good. I, what happened was uh, this week I watched a video and uh, super hot new starlet and uh, some dude and. Dude finishes, you know, you know, money shot, and then um, I I go to stop the video, and I'm like, wait, there's still 12 minutes left. Like, the fuck? Like, it's done. You What's going it, on? With, yeah, it's got it's yeah. got to be over. What is? Are they gonna cuddle? Is that option one? Option two? Is it gonna be like a post fight interview? Like, like. Uh, <laughs> so you did really good in there. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Joe Rogan. What happened was. Uh, uh, you know, he flipped me over and gave me a good ground and pound, and then, um, you know, then I got him into the side guard, and then finally uh, I got him into reverse cowgirl, then finished him off in the mouth. He's like, well, you did good. <laughs> That's what I thought was going to happen. This is what actually happened. Um, she flips oh. dude over, and then uh, gives him an old rim job, then she lubes up her hand, oh. and then fists him. Oh. And I'm like, is this is this how all the new videos are? Like... I always stop after the m- money shot. Like, there's nothing yeah. else after. But th- yeah. I was just curious. It's been like nine days. I'm like, well, let's just see what happens after. See what you see this takes me. After this, I'm like, so what's go- what's the worst thing I can see in the last 12 minutes? I thought that this, yeah. That. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, fisting don't freak me out. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm into black and white photography, so I know Robert Maplethorpe work. And if you don't know who Robert Maplethorpe is, just Google Robert. Maplethorpe's self-portrait because it's just him bent over with a uh, bull whip handle in his ass. And this was 1968, huh. and Supreme huh. Court had a big deal. So if you take any art history classes, that name's going to come up. But yeah, so I'm like, ah, fisting. And he has a bunch of fisting pictures from the 70s. And I'm like, that doesn't shock me, but I didn't think this is the turn that this video was going to take. And I think uh, <laughs> I think all videos that are, like, modern are shot like this. So I'm just, like, going to swear everything off that was shot, you know, with digital camera. If it's shot on film, I'll watch it. But uh, so if anybody knows any good retro, like, web adult websites, let me know. Cause, uh, I feel like there's not a whole, like, I mean, there's a whole, like, genre of people ripping VHS and putting it online. But it's not. Yeah. It's not as huge of a catalog as, you know, Pornhub, so. Yeah. If you find <laughs> if you find your dad's old stash buried <laughs> in the garage or something, VHS, rip it on the, and then upload it to whatever website. And who knows? Maybe more people like me will be like, new videos freak me out. I want to watch old ones, but don't have a VCR or I'm willing to go to a video store because... I'm not a degenerate. I'm not a fucking weirdo. I don't even know if they still exist. Do they, do they still exist? What? VHS? It's all video stores. 
No, I know oh, yeah, VHSs. Dude. They still do. They still sell the VHSs that come in like the cereal yeah. box size the boxes. Do you remember those? <laughs> I was just like, about to say that. Like, like, what the <laughs> fuck is there? Like pop tarts in here on the like, sides? Like, after like you man, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be discreet, and here you are carrying a fucking novelty check. Yeah, on the way out. yeah straight the fuck up. It's novelty check. Yeah, did you? <laughs> they come to your door with just that giant box. You're like. <laughs> Yeah, hey, so dude, I'll take this over the thousand dollars <laughs> any day, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What is that? Publisher Clearinghouse? <laughs> That's the name of the website. <laughs> Publisher Clearinghouse Giveaway dot com. It's just like eighties, nineties VHS rip <laughs> pornos. <laughs> you the big oil fucking box. <laughs> <laughs> the big box. Uh, good times, but uh, okay. So with that being the case, now I have, I have a question for you that kind of. But messes with my psyche. So say you're watching the old ones. Now, knowing those old ones, if some of those people are dead, do you still watch it? Like, do you feel comfortable watching knowing that that person's dead now? Um, yes, because they probably went to heaven. So you would watch it because you know they went to heaven? <laughs> yeah, they, they did the Lord's work, and you know, <laughs> they're going to be Im- they're, they're immortalized now, right? <laughs> All right. Well, in that, that case, if you're, if you're looking up old stuff, uh, check out Savannah. She's the best. All right. Is yeah. it pre nineteen ninety eight? Oh yeah, it's definitely pre nineteen ninety eight. Okay, good, good. All right, well then I'm in. Yeah, I've been uh going deep on like Casey Lord. Remember her? Yes, yes I do. Yeah, yeah. She was in all like nice. the cool like late eighties horror stuff. Yep. Yeah. Good time. Hey, now back on a family note, do you want to talk about some family <laughs> fun facts? <laughs> as long as they're family friendly, because uh, I feel like that yes. bit I wrote uh, is, uh, wasn't very family friendly. It's all right. Maybe we should have a disclaimer on the beginning of this one. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Adam get all, gets all up in your guts in this one. Yeah. So I've been trying out. to do like open mics, and like I remember Scottsdale Comedy Spot, they're like, you got to do a clean set, and they're closed since, so I can talk shit. But uh, me and my buddy Travis, we went. And I told a joke similar, and they're like, uh, yeah, you can't come back. I'm like, well, fuck you. Comedy's not for me. Yeah. Oh, but you trying to do stand-up, man? Yeah, man, and it wasn't wasn't great. I mean, there's definitely more opportunities now that there's, like, like 10 comedy spots now versus there yeah. were only three at the time. So. What we should do, yeah. Adam, is we put our brains together, we make our own material, and then one of us goes up. And then the next time, the other one goes up. There you go. I'm down. Bam. Oh, yeah. So I have a couple of yeah. bits I've been tossing around, so. Family fun facts. I'm going to yeah, do Waldo. Family fun you ready? All right. Mine's nice That's and family friend- friendly. Here we All go. Right. So, Waldo, um, he used to always hang out like his parents, like, because, you know, as you know, in the Chicago area, they're all pretty well off, the Winslows. Like, everyone's living pretty good up there. You know. But anyways, uh, Waldo's parents... So he they wouldn't bother uh, he wouldn't bother him over the summer. They would uh, take him to summer camp when he was a kid. And one time he he hung out with this chick named uh, Punky Brewster. And they had a good time, and uh, she ended up having really big old titties, and Waldo liked that. And then in the future she ended up getting a breast reduction, and I was like, oh man, but I get it if your back hurts. I understand. It's your body, <laughs> not mine. But anyways, then uh, Waldo, you know. Helped her out in those times. He moved to Chicago. Now he's hanging out with his buddy Eddie. Quick, short family fun facts. Big titties. Nice. Oh, do 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 do. Sorry about that. Put a doom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, did she really get a breast reduction? Yeah, she did, dude. What? Dude, they were ginormous too. Nice. Look take, it up. Take. I Look will, but not right now. I you know. And it hey, that's bef- that's before nineteen. 19- 90, but I don't think she's going to... She's a child! <laughs> like, when she was in that show. No, man, like, I'm talking about late 90s. So you're, you oh, said, okay. what, All right. before 1994? Na- 98's the cutoff. Oh, yeah, then you're good, dude, because yeah. that's when she's, like, All right. an adult. 98. All right. Well, Cody, way back, uh, he was living in, uh, he was living in Dallas with, uh, you know, outside of Dallas, you know. For those that don't know, his father's J.R. Ewing. He was just one of his bastard kids. And um, he ends up not liking the way that J.R. treated his mom. And he's like, 
you gotta learn how to fight. So he moves to L.A. as a kid and learns how to fight. And um, his older brothers, Kurt and Eric, they go to Thailand to enter a Muay Thai Muay Thai tournament, and uh, they get both get killed. Well, Eric gets killed first, and then Kurt gets killed later. Same guy kills them both. Same dude. Same. Yeah, Cody's like, "Fuck this! I'm going to Thailand. And I'm gonna fight this guy, and I'm gonna kill him." And he does. And after getting that sweet, sweet vengeance, he's like, uh, "Let me, let me uh, call up my uncle Frank. See if I can come back to stateside and see if it's all right if I live in his driveway in a van." And, well, he did, and the rest is history. Family fucking fun facts. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Kickboxer 1. He wasn't in Kickboxer 1. It was another guy. Yeah. He was in 2, and he was Van Damme's brother. I have a brother? It must (laughs) have. Yeah, so he was. So Van Damme was never the bad guy in Kickboxer. Oh, why did I think he was the bad guy? Um, uh, something eagle. He was the bad guy, but it didn't have maybe Cody in it. Okay, maybe that's the movie I'm thinking of then. Yeah, Iron Eagle Some... or something. Golden ah. Eagle. I don't know. That's yeah, one of those like shitty. Early bald 90s. Eagle. Martial arts. Movie. Yeah, Bald Eagle. Spread Eagle. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, Eagles, Eagle Beagle. Think about starting a podcast. Oh, you were? I was, I was thinking about starting one, but you know what? I want to hear about oh, yeah? yours. You go. I want to hear about yours because I, I don't really have anything. I didn't oh, you're just going to. <laughs> oh, uh, crap. I don't have one either. But uh, I was going to start a podcast about. Rex Reduction. What did you say? Rex, Rex <laughs> Reduction? Punky, punk, punky Brewster Breast Reduction. Oh, yeah. I totally want to make a podcast about that because it already happened. But I want to talk about how I felt and like me as a person to where I was like very selfish, of course. I was like, no, why would you do that? Don't do that. Why would you do that? But then, you know, you have to have a realization. So like throughout the podcast, it's like character building for me. And he's at the end. I'm like, oh, yeah, you should do that. So you're just like a real rowdy garbage person in the beginning. Like, yeah, well, I don't think women <laughs> should should be able to vote. I don't yeah, think she's able to drive, and, and breast the reduction end, like, is an yeah. absolute no-no. You stay home and cook, and then you grow up. Then I grow up each, at the end and learn a lesson. Each episode, you like, you start being less <laughs> misogynistic. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> You're like, I guess women's suffrage is okay. Um, driving's okay. This isn't Saudi, you know. This is America. Freedom, right? And then, I, then I realized it's, it's 2020, and I should live with the times and be like, oh, yeah, shit's all good. Do it up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not like like A cups now, right? But I don't know. B, maybe? I don't know. I'm going, they're I'm still going symmetrical? B or C. I think so, yeah. Oh, good. good. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. I mean,. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, d- I didn't think about that until, you know, I, I watched that. And then I remember some girl in high school had the same problem. And I was like, pff, pff, pff. And then <laughs> I thought about it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess that would be uncomfortable. Like, imagine, Adam, if you had, like, ginormous fucking balls. How uncomfortable would that be? I mean, in some countries, I feel like that's, like, a power status thing. Like, lifted trucks or fast sports cars. So, elephantitis is, is the way to be, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and they they like South Park, they just push her in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah, and they always have the uh, ACDC song playing for them. Oh, hell yeah. I got big balls. Because <laughs> we got the biggest <laughs> balls of them all. Balls of them all. But, you know, boobs and balls, I was going to, yeah, that's going to name the podcast, Boobs and Balls, because we'll start just talking about big balls, big ball boys. Yeah. And I was going to use Buzzsprout. Every episode will be a different person with large balls yeah. and or large breasts. So it's gonna be a two part. The first half will be about the boobs, and then the second half will be about the balls. So there you go. And then somewhere in there, you'll come to the realization that it's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, d- uh, Goodwill Hunting. Am, am, I'm Have doing you a commercial watched? here. Let me finish. Oh, my I'm commercial. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> finish your commercial. So with Buzzsprout, um, they'll let me. Um, 
get all that garbage out to everyone. Like everyone can hear that and be like, oh, this guy's fucking stupid. <laughs> and, then, and then everyone's going to like, you know, send me hate mail. And then I'll be like, hey, that's, that's not really me. That's fake me. Yeah. And then um, Buzzsprout will get them out to everyone. And if you click on our link and if you want to start your own goddamn podcast, you get 20 fucking dollars, 20 or 25 dollars. Always fuck this up. I think it's 20, 20, 80 20 quarters. quarters. Oh, yeah, it's 20 quarters. That's right. 20, yeah. 20 quarters that are dollars. 20 dollars. And you can get a cool ass um, gift card and you can do with it as like what, Adam? What would you buy? Uh, you can get sheath underpants because they really support your boys. Or you can get oh, a sports bra. You really support oh, yeah. your girls. Support your girls. Girls and the boys. Buzzsprout. We use them. Hey, <laughs> yeah, they're great. Use it. Gr- Try it. Yeah. Try it out. Do it. Yeah, click on the link. Do it. Buy something. Yeah. Treat yourself. Hey, um, should we just go ahead and have my lovely wife explain these rules? Now, mind you, she is going to say dad because we just used the one recording. So, uh, just in your head, change it to bud. Go ahead, my dear. Each dad has 23 hit points. Using a polyhedral eight-sided die, most commonly used for tabletop RPGs, each host will call an attack and roll the die. Number rolled determines damage. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. All right, All man. Right, uh, since we are not in person, we'll be rolling to see who goes first. All right, sir. Uh, uh, whenever are you you're ready. ready. All right, I three, am ready. two, one, roll five. Hey, I got three. I actually, I actually rolled a five. Nice. nice. I'll yeah. Take her away. All right. Well, Mr. Waldo, he's coming out, and uh, the lights go dim. Smoke comes up, and he's coming out. All smooth as fuck. He's wearing those cross colors back in the 90s. He's wearing the cross colors, uh, blue and red overalls. And over it, he's nice. got a cross colors buttoned up shirt that's uh, green and red. Because, you know, that's how <laughs> we, we dressed in the 90s. And he's coming Hell out, and, yeah. that, and he's letting everyone know. And this, he's listening to Tribe Called Quest Jam. You can get with this. The choice is yours. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. Nice. Or you, or you can get with Hell that. Hell yeah. Because this is where it's at. But uh, yeah, he's ready to go. He's he's jumping around, and, you know, doing a little dance. Oh, he's break dancing. Go Waldo. Oh, go Waldo. Go Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Cody, he's coming up to the to the ring, and you know, he's wearing like a Party City gorilla costume. And after closer inspection, he's wearing a a red necktie that says DK. Oh, he's Donkey Kong, and. Oh, listen to this. The Donkey Kong rap from Donkey Kong 64 is <laughs> coming on over the speakers, and he's moseying on up. This monkey rap. Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah, look at this. He's breakdancing with, uh, yeah, he's break yeah, dancing with break. Waldo. Donkey Kong is here. Dude, that's like the <laughs> freshest fucking jam ever. Adam. Fuck yeah, talk. dude. <laughs> we should redo that jam because it's so good. Hell good. yeah. DK. <laughs> Donkey Kong is here. Oh, beautiful. I love it. It's a fun yeah. episode. It's fun. I'm having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Fist and fun. All right. All right. So, uh, Waldo's just doing it right off the bat because everybody wants it. He's going to do his catchphrase and he's going with the sup suplex. Oh, and cue it up, Adam. We got a one. <laughs> Cody, he's going to do an attack based on his. His catchphrase, it's the cheese on crane kick. You know, put a cheese hat for the Packers and do a crane kick. It's like Danielson. Let's see what kind of damage he does here. And there's a three. Oh. Rock to a slow start here. Super slow start. So it was weird. Even though he was from Wisconsin, they tried to make him like a surfer dude. But how you make a surfer guy... In Wisconsin, you put him in a van out, outside his uncle's house. Yeah. And you and you put a fake ocean. <laughs> I know we already talked about this, but the fake beach <laughs> by the fucking theme park. All right, Waldo, he's gonna come out and uh, yeah, it was like it's late in the season. We're gonna jump that shark, so we're gonna do the uh, little three J H J B J jab punch shark jump attack. <laughs> oh, that's a three. Damn it, man. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to run out of attacks here, dude. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Come on, come on, Cody. Do something good here. Come on, Cody. All right, this is the Code Man crotch kick. He's going to run up on Waldo and just kick him right in those big old balls. And that's a four. It's, it's oh. all right. Not, not all right. great, but it's just all right. Not too bad. All right, for all those number munchers, uh, we got Team Waldo Faldo at 16 hit points and Team Cody Lambert at 19. It's uh, anybody's match. Anybody's match. Waldo's going to do the Punky Brewster had some big old titties, then reduce those titties. Now she got small titties. Chest attack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a seven. All right. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Take that, Cody. All right. Let well, Cody's titties. shaking off that the, the juggy, that juggy attack. And uh, he's going to do the Van Man, Van Dam. Split kick. He's gonna do a, oh. you know, for his brother Kurt. He's gonna do the Van Dam split kick. Let's see what kind of damage love he you. does here. Lo love you, Kurt. Oh no, cue it up. That's a one. Oh, oh. All right, Waldo, walking that off. He uh points to the sky. He says, "This is from a man," and this is the uh, Carl Otis motherfucking Winslow windmill kick. Here we go. For the big guy. And that's a five. Nice. Nice. Watch out. All right, well, Cody, he learned this from his uncle, I guess. So Frank was his uncle in both shows, both Dallas and Step oh, yeah. by Step. That's a family <laughs> fun fact that yeah, I learned like yesterday. I had no idea he was in Dallas. Dallas? I can't, yeah. I'm, nope. Yeah, he must have been do just do like do a do kid do do in do that do. show. Yeah, do do do. that's a fun fact <laughs> of the week. There you go. All right, well, he's doing the uh, Frank the Tank, Uncle Frank, Frank the Tank, front kick. <laughs> They're all kick attacks because he's a kickboxer. Here we go. And that is a five. All right. All it's right. coming back. It's coming back. All right, well, Waldo, this is for his best bud. He's a, and I believe uh, Mr. Winslow probably used this move. I can't remember, but we're going with the good old-fashioned Eddie Armbar. Nice. Oh, and that's a two. Not too bad. Oh. Almost. All right. Um, I knew I wasn't going to well, use my finisher yet. What you got? Yeah, no, I was going to say you're going to use your finisher, you're going to call it, but... Uh, nope, not yet. I guess you Save can the next, the next attack. All right, well, Cody, he's going to do the... The Midwest Surfer Dude drop kick. Let's see what kind of damage this does here. And that's a five. Oh, shit. Look at that. And Do you for wanna... all the number nerds, we got a time yeah. match right here at 5 HP each. For both motherfuckers. All right. Oh, yeah. So I don't think anyone noticed, but right next to the ring, yep, there it is, that good old-fashioned Urkel machine. Oh, Waldo, shit. Uh, Jeez, did I do that? Well, <laughs> yeah, you did. You made that. <laughs> yeah, 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 you did it. Of course you did. What? Where's the, you, I, what? Steven, I watched you knock over that thing, dude. Yeah. Did you break that lamp? <laughs> Yeah, you did. Did Shit. I do that? <laughs> well, <laughs> Waldo goes in the machine and uh, comes out as a... Because what, okay, what Urkel did, and no one's telling him this, but uh, he had some uh, Kimbo Slice DNA, so he put some Kimbo Slice DNA up in there. So Waldo's coming all jacked out looking like Kimbo Slice, and uh, he's going to go with the uh, rip off your arms, Jack's attack. So he's going to basically try to do a fatality, see if he uh, pulls it nice. off. Pulls it off. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, and this match is over. That's a seven. Nice. Waldo. Hell takes yeah. It. Waldo. Yeah. Waldo. That was fun, man. Hell yeah. That yeah. was a fun one, man. Yeah. I like these uh, bud, bud fights. I guess we can call yeah. them. Yeah. Buddy yeah. fights. <laughs> buddy fights? Yeah, the, bud, the buddy fights. My my buddy fights. My buddy fights. Yeah, my buddy, my buddy, fighting me or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we're good at that. Yeah, that was that was fun, dude. I liked it. Yeah, I we're gonna have another of these buddy fights in like three weeks. Are we? Yeah, cause I'm gonna be out of town, and the day I get oh, back, that's right. we're going to Zapcon. So I figure we can just knock one out of the phone that week. Okay, I'm down with that. All right. Um, well, shit. What should, uh, we, what should we do for the next buddy fight? You got anything uh, in the back pocket? 
on the, uh, on the back burner? I know of, but uh, next week we'll be back to regular dad fights. So we have... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's boring. It's boring. It's yeah, boring, boring dad fights. It's uh, oh. Father Knows Best versus Three of a Kind. With three, oh, I thought it was My Three Sons. Oh, My Three Sons. That's right. Three of a your Kind. Fa- oh. Your Father Knows Best, and I'm My Three Sons. Yeah, My Three Sons. Those, those boys. The guy I remember watching three boys. I remember watching both those shows going, man, this show's boring. <laughs> I had this point where, like, anything that was black and white, I'm like, man, this is boring until yeah. Adam's Family. And I was like, oh, man, I got a boing. <laughs> 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 it's funny because I feel like everyone oh, in our terrible. generation, like, didn't like black and white movies until Clerks. And I'm like, oh, yep. okay, I can, I'll do black and white movies. And then yeah, I went back were... and started watching all the old film, no- film noir movies. I'm like, these movies are awesome. Then they show you Schindler's List, and you're like, oh, come on. Yeah. Ooh, sad. What the fuck? What's that guy's name? Schindler. No, dude, <laughs> oh, the guy oh, from Qui-Gon? Schindler's List. Qui-Gon? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Qui Gon. Taken. He, he, that's where he. Yeah. That's where he went. Go Ghost Man or what, what was the movie he was in? Taken. Was it like a c- superhero movie. Superhero movie. He was in a superhero movie. He, yeah, Liam Neeson was in a superhero movie in like the mid '90s. Oh, I thought you were talking about Batman Begins. Dark Dark guy. Man? No. Dark Man was, was Yeah, he was in Dark Man. Man? Yeah, he, he was, was Dark, Dark Man? Man? That's right. That was a superhero movie I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't really a superhero movie, but it was a superhero movie. The movie was the shit, dude. That video game was it awesome, was. man. The Nintendo so game. So I always got take Dark Man and, and River Phantom with uh Alec Oh Baldwin. yeah, with Yeah. Or no, Stephen Baldwin. No, which it had one of the Baldwins in it. And it wasn't Phantom great. did? It's pretty dumb. Didn't it? I thought Phantom had uh, Billy Zane. I thought Billy Zane was the Phantom. Oh, you're thinking of... Uh, uh, what the fuck are you thinking of? I know you're... It's like a... Oh, man. I lost it. Yeah, it's he all was, good. He wasn't like I've a... Heard. Like a superhero, but not superhero movie in the... Yeah, he like 90s. carried guns and wore a stupid mask and hat. It was like a film noir superhero, but it was in the nineties. Yeah. Yeah. And he had a trench coat. Was, oh yeah. God, I, yeah, dude. Like oh man. I, that I wasn't the fan. The shadow. The shadow. The sh- oh my god, that's it, dude. I, I was gonna rack Ooh. my brain until like I Wow, got a man, nosebleed. that was I had to go way back for that one. <laughs> yeah. I completely Ooh. smoked that movie just completely out of my mind. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. It was, was it was when was I read that uh <laughs> I'm not gonna do an Alec Baldwin joke, it's times past. So. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's just yeah. Yeah, you try to shoot for the opportunity you missed. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Uh, you know what just happened this week? Uh, someone got slapped. Who? Oh, Adam? No, no, I did not hear it. Could you please inform me of <laughs> who got fucking bitch slapped. Oh, uh, it was uh, uh, Gallagher and his brother. They slapped uh, Gallagher one, the original Gallagher. Gallagher two, Gallagher's brother. They slapped uh, uh, Car- Carrot Top. Like, yeah, that's what you get. You can't do prop comedy. Yeah, like that's us. Can. And then he got yeah. double slapped. Yeah, he did. Double dragon. And that's leading into my pitch of the week. Oh, what you got? Oh, shit. Here's the pitch. I, I'm cre- I want to create a Flash game starring Gallagher. You know, the hammer... Carrion, melon smashing, not so both, great can be both anything. Gallagher's or just the one Gallagher. So it'd just be like the main Gallagher persona. So it's Gallagher and Gallagher's brother, Gallagher Two, and it's Double Dragon, and they're taking down prop comics. The Perfect. big boss is gonna be Carrot Top because you know Carrot Top, he's all jacked. He's definitely the big boss. Hey, does Jeff who's, Dunham count? Who's the big Jeff- boss from <laughs> Double Dragon? What? I can see the his big face. Boss? They, the guy that punches uh, the girl in the beginning? Yeah, that guy. He's Carrot I Top, can't... right? They have red hair? Yeah, it is red hair. red hair. Yeah, it's red hair. Carrot Top. The yeah, other mini Jeff bosses Dunham. are going to be like Jeff Dunham. I was going to say, is Jeff Dunham going to be one? <laughs> yeah, it was so funny when, when my, your, uh, your stepson Michael's like, I'm going to see Jeff Dunham next week. And I'm like, I thought you were cool. And then he's like, Oh, no, it was Brady. That was Brady. That was Brady. Oh, that was Brady. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I thought <laughs> you were cool <laughs> until he said that. Yeah. Or he said something funny, which I totally agree with because, yeah, Jeff Dunham. Yeah. 
Remember that kid? I mean, when I saw with? Jeff Dunham the first time, I'm like, I, I like it. And then when everyone's kept quoting it, I'm like, yeah, fuck this guy because yeah, that, I don't want to hear my friends butcher his jokes. Yeah, that kid, that one kid that we worked with, dude, Chad. Oh, he fucking. Oh my god, are you mad at me? Yeah, yeah. I'm mad at you because you keep quoting the same Jeff Dunham lines over and over. He was Get funny because he was like, uh, he was like obsessed with John Cena. Yep, John Cena and Jeff Dunham. It was like his two. Yeah. I mean, it's double J's. I mean, do we live in like a very red state? Of course, the yeah. youth of today are going to be into Jeff Dunham and and, and John and Cena. pro wrestling. I get it. I was I was that age once, and I loved pro wrestling. So, but yeah, sixteen bit uh, flash game, Gallagher, Gallagher one, Gallagher two. So like other on. bonus stages where they like smash fruit, kind of like test your yeah mind or in, cars. In like like uh, Street Fighter, they smash up a Honda <laughs> with their with hammers. Their hammers. <laughs> yeah. Do they ride on It'll huge big wheels? Because like that was like his, yeah. one of his gimmicks. Right, a big yeah. Big, big and the game will wheel. come with uh, like a raincoat and then like plastic. Oh, sheets. nice. That's good. I'm I'm glad that it would come with that. That's yeah. That's safe thinking. They should make a documentary about Gallagher because I feel like. He kind of just disappeared and like, what the fuck's he doing now? Is he still alive? He's still alive, I think. I think he had a beef. I, I think with so. Recently with Carrot Top, which made me want to create this game. Cool. I've seen Gallagher live. Have you? Was he good? Yeah, it was funny, man. Uh, it was at the state fair, so I was like way far in the back, so I wasn't up front. Wait, getting... what year was this? Oh, dude, this was like 90s. Do you think it was Gallagher too? It could have been Gallagher too, because it was like late '90s. I think I was. Yeah, in... that was like the Gallagher two controversial days. Yep. They look the same, and if it was just as funny, you know, yeah, it was, you it was saw like Gallagher. So... Well, to let you know, I didn't even know that that was going on at that time, so I thought I was seeing Gallagher. So there you go. Hey, man. So, uh, did you learn anything on this special episode? Um. There's a lot. This is this was a I big. I know. It's like this one. We went. We went. This was a roller coaster of an episode. It's like we we went from like modern adult stars fisting their male counterparts to uh, Punky Brewster's boobs. Who else did we talk <laughs> about? TGIF. You're all over the place, man. Well, Adam, thank God it's fisting, but don't take my word for it. <laughs> God, that's gonna ruin TGIF for me forever. Dead for.